Hi, right, Making Bone Gang, Vinny here. Welcome back to Pelican Bone Outdoors. Today, we're getting right down into it, just jumping right on in, because we're getting a late start. It's nine o'clock, feels like 90 degrees, supposed to get dang near 100. And uh, yeah, I don't wanna die of heat strokes. So we're gonna try and get this video done. Also, we're gonna probably be racing time before these GoPros overheat. But the agenda for today is I just got back from ICAST and uh, I got one of these bad boys. This here is what they call Nessie. It's a seven inch soft plastic glide bait. And uh, I really like it. And I wanna try and catch a fish with it. It, it won first place for freshwater fish uh, bait, but I think I can catch a redfish. And uh, it's not even released yet, but uh, I know a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy and I uh, was able to get one. Anyway, let's see if we can do this before it uh, gets too daggum hot and the fish want to go uh, take a nap somewhere or something. All right, there's a bunch of commotion going on, a whole bunch of popping and moving, but uh, ain't no telling what it is. Oh, that's an alligator. Could be exactly what we're looking for. Could uh, not even be close to what we're looking for. The problem with this bait around here, though, is going to be all the grass, I think. But we're going to try. I did bring uh, everything else just in case, but we're going to try hard hauling. I mean, look at that thing. I mean, I'd want to bite it. I'll tell you what. There's a five inch version that I want to get my hands on because uh, I think they would probably do better out here for these redfish. Boy, this stuff popping everywhere. I just think it's going to be mostly mullet. Now, something chasing that mullet would be all right because this thing looked kind of like a mullet. Big old catfish right there. There's so many mullet around here. The water looks like it's boiling and it sounds like pop rocks going off. Snap, crackle, pop. Like a bunch of Rice Krispies in a bowl of milk. Look at them. Now, that could be a good thing or that could be a bad thing. I did see a catfish, so there probably is some oxygen in the water. But sometimes when all you see is mullet and garfish, that means there ain't much oxygen in the water. But I mean, this water's been moving, so I don't, I can't see that this be, this is a spot where there wouldn't be any oxygen. But, you know, I don't know. Could be. Oh, <laughs> that was two catfish I spooked. <laughs> Whoops. I seen something slow moving. And I threw it right in front of it and he came up and touched it. And that was it, he's gone. Pew. Well, there's certainly fish up in here. Question now is there's the fish we're looking for. Well, this thing's tough to fish in this grass. I'm really going to have to sight cast a redfish to know for sure whether or not this works or not because I can't see nothing right now. So I'm going to have to put it right in front of a redfish to see if they try and grab it or if it just spooks them. I know the five inch. I know I can catch one on the five inch. Whether or not they're going to bite the seven one, we find out. Oh, there's one. Uh, we're gonna run over him. Maybe not. Let's see if we can get it somewhere where he can see it. So much grass, I can't work this thing correctly. But at least now we know there's some in here. Oh, what the? What was that? I think that was a bass just hit it. <laughs> oh crap! He hit it right at the boat. That was cool. That was cool. All right. It's definitely a redfish in there. Question is, is he seeing it? And if he is, does he want it? See if we can get a little bit closer to where we can see him. I can see his waking and his fin every now and then. Oh, hello, Mr. Gator. Oh, something hit it. I don't know what it was, couldn't see it. Might have been a garfish. That's usually what it is when I can't hook it. At least that's my story and I'm sticking to it. There's something following it. Oh, look, a little garfish following. Uh... <laughs> and garfish do love this thing. Garfish have been following it. All right, I'm going to throw it one more time. Ouch, yeah. Oh, nope. Scratch that. I'm going to throw it again because that was a terrible cast. And then I'm going to throw that other little soft plastic swim bait and see if I get a hook in the first, like, three, four, five cast. It ain't looking too good for the Nessie. Man, they got something back there moving, but I can't even get the boat back there. Not the trolling motor. All right. Yeah, I'm getting hung up in grass right there. Super shallow. All right, let's try that swam bait and see what happens. Oh, look, 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 look. There he is right there. Big weight coming. No? All right, let's throw one more time because it looks like he's back. Ooh, 
Ooh, something smashing back there. I wonder if I can get back there, how shallow it is. I mean, I can't believe nothing would want that. Yeah. Oh, there's a bass. That was on what, the fourth cast? Dang. Now, why did you bite the Nessie? Of course, that might have been you that tried to bite it earlier. I appreciate you, buddy. Ooh, you got some lice on you. All right, bud. Thanks for coming out. All right, well, let's throw it again. Let's throw this again a couple times, and if we catch something again on this, then we're throwing the Nessie again. And it's hot. Another bass. Now, come on. That, I don't understand that. Of course, they're really small. I mean, a seven inch bait, what do you expect? I'm expecting bigger fish to try and bite. Although I have caught fish bigger than the bait I was throwing. So yeah, I don't know. I need to get my hands on that five inch. I bet you. And nothing. One coming right for us. Ah, I threw it on top of them. I think it'll be good. Oh, okay. I spooked him and then he turned. All right, this will be the test. Problem is, I can't see them through this muddy water until they get real close. I think our biggest problem with this is gonna be that profile. That seven inches is just a little bit too big for these bad boys. I'll put that to the test again when I pick up this little swim bait. Now only for sure seen one redfish, the rest of this, I'm not sure if that's reds or goldfish. But uh, if I can make five of these casts and catch one, I guarantee that's what it's gonna be. The size profile. Yeah, that's a garfish over there. Oh, that was a garfish. Kept hearing these blow ups back in here in this colander right here. And I just had to find out Cause it was big sounding so i snuck up back here but i don't know probably just a bunch of goldfish here with all this mullet mm, no there we go there's a fish oh oh that's a red fish all right I wasn't expecting to get anything over here to be honest with you. I'm on the other side of this big old lake right here. And tried a few spots, couldn't find nothing. And now we're gonna catch this little red right here. Now unfortunately, this is not on the Nessie. Cause I wanted to see if I could catch anything on this uh, other bait. To see what was going on, see if these fish was even biting, you know? I guess we got our answer. Can't put you on the boot, it'll cook you. Gotta give me some uh, some of that hydro turf. Come on, hold on, hold on, buddy. Hold on, buddy, I'm gonna let you go. Let you go as quick as I can. All right, Bubba, let me get you back in this water because it's hot. I don't wanna leave you out too long. There you go. Whew, well, that was fun. At least we got something other than that dirty little bass. Kind of makes me want to uh, fish this a little bit more, though. I'm going to go ahead and throw that Nessie now. I'm going to throw that Nessie again, see what happens. Come here, Nessie. Come on, girl. Get us one. Well, we didn't catch any redfish. It's a few days later, and I have this black eye that's finally starting to heal. But we didn't catch any redfish on the 7 inch Nessie. Can't wait to get the 5 inch because I'm fairly certain. I can get a redfish to bite on the five inch. I'm pretty sure I can get one to bite on the seven inch if uh, conditions were a little bit better. And I'm gonna keep on trying because that thing is so much fun to fish. But if you wanna know what happened with the old black eye, make sure you check out the podcast titled, What is iCast Anyway? You can check it out wherever you get your podcast, as well as right here on the YouTube channel. I'll leave the playlist to all the lives slash podcasts right here you can click on that check those out by the way we do record the podcast live right here on the channel every now and then it's kind of sporadic right now until we get a little bit better organized 
But I announce it usually on Instagram and Facebook when it's coming up, and uh, you can check that out. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Click that thumbs up button if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you on the next one.